Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about sort of my predictions for the new episode of The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 9, and I'm also going to sort of uh, give my opinion on the trailers that we've seen, and just like, they have a four-minute clip out there of the actual episodes, the first four minutes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, to start off, I don't think we will see any main character deaths in this episode, and if we do, it will be, like, not a very main character, like Enid sort of death. So maybe Spencer, someone like that, just, I don't really consider those main characters, so I don't really think we're going to see main character deaths. I just don't get the feeling in this episode. We might, however, see some maiming, some possible next episode deaths, but in this one, I'm just not getting the feeling like we're going to lose a main character. Okay, but uh, from the previews, we did see, let me see, I've got my list out here. Um, Maggie screaming, so, uh, in the episode description on IMDb, they actually do say Glenn runs into trouble while trying to save Maggie, and then I saw her screaming in the trailer, so they're sort of trying to make us think that he's gonna die, but I don't think Glenn's gonna die. After what happened in that other episode, I think he's sort of safe for at least half a season or something. Maybe they're saving him for Negan, maybe not. And, uh... Yeah, that's just right there. I don't think Glenn's going to die, but maybe she's screaming because he's in a position where he could die, or perhaps Enid died, perhaps? That's possible. But uh, let me read you the description from IMDb real quick. So, Rick is realizing his plan to escape is a disaster, and Glenn runs into trouble while attempting to rescue Maggie. The Wolves leader has special plans for Denise. Now... This seems weird because I don't get the feeling like all this stuff is going to happen in this one episode, but the IMDB description is this. I sort of get the feeling like next episode we're going to be dealing with Glenn, maybe, and seeing what he's doing, but maybe they're just going to have it all intercut here and just give us everything at once. I don't really get that feeling, though, because if you've seen the first four minutes of the episode, it really doesn't give the feeling like that's going to happen. It seems very slow-paced, and it's just showing what's happening with Daryl and everyone else, uh, Abraham and Sasha, and they're just giving up their weapons. Now, the guy from the clip, the guy's acting real nasty towards them and acting like a real, well, like Negan would act, it seems, but they, they're just handing over all this stuff, and then he said, after they give him the weapons that they had on them, he says, okay, now give me the rest of your stuff. Uh, what rest of our stuff? We don't have anything else. In the back of their truck, they have the RPGs and stuff, and he sends a guy with Daryl to go get that stuff. So is Daryl going to, like, jump that guy maybe and stop him? I don't know. It seems to me like they're going to... Negan's men are going to end up with the RPGs, and that just sucks. That really sucks, because at this point, if they go to war with the people in... What's their... Alexandria? They're screwed. They... RPGs just win immediately. I just can't see them doing all that well against the RPGs. Okay, and also, the ne Negan's men who caught uh, Sasha and all them, they, he, that leader of that small group, wants to see their compound. He said, take us to your home. So that's going to suck, but maybe they'll be able to help, or they'll get killed by the walkers or whatever, on their way there, what have, what have you, because we know that it's flooded, Alexandra is flooded with walkers. Now, if the Wolves leader is in this episode, I kind of wonder what they mean, the Wolves leader has special plans for Denise. I just figured that he would, like liked her, so he was going to hang on to her or something, but it seems like having special plans means something a little more specific. I'm really guessing on that one, but... Anyway, what I predict will happen in this episode is we'll see what's happening with Daryl, probably see what's going on with Rick, and possibly some death, like one or two at the most, but not much. And it's going to be fast-paced, but slow in spots. Like this beginning part was kind of slow with the dialogue and stuff, but that's just to sort of get you revved up for the episode. It's not really just boom right from the start, which I kind of had the feeling like because we left off last episode with Rick in that position, that we would start up with Rick in that position again. But they're trying to do that... Uh, Daryl or Glenn under the garbage can thing just leave us on the edge of our seats until all of a sudden it's there so I don't f get the feeling like Jesse's gonna die if someone does die in this episode maybe Sam or something but 
I don't get the feeling like a main character's died. And if you see the previews, Rick's moving around with his uh, hatchet, killing a bunch of walkers. You see, like, uh, Michonne killing some. You see just random killings and then just mixed in with Daryl stuff. So I don't really see a point where they're going to have anyone other than Rick, Glenn, and uh, Daryl's story there. I don't see where the Wolves leader actually has a part in there. And I'm kind of questioning whether we'll actually see what's going on with Morgan and... Uh, Carol and all that, because it just seems like in the, what, 40 minutes that we'll get in this episode, unless, maybe it's an elongated episode, I haven't looked, I'll have to check that out, but I just don't get the feeling like we're going to see that, it just doesn't seem to be one of those things that will come to pass. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say, it's kind of a predictions video, I, let me just say this off the top, if anyone's going to die in this episode, I'm pretty sure it's Sam, so there's my death prediction in this little view video here. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to stick around for more. And remember, guys, I love...